Hi, I'm Eileen and this is my dream quince story. wanted a quince but I feel like at the age of 12 is when it really hit me that I really really did want a quinceañera. As I grew up like at the age of 14 I was like wait I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to have a quinceañera financially the money wasn't really there but my family members I'm really grateful for it that they now encourage me to have my quinceañera and now I have all those memories to look back at. What it meant to me having my quince was to really grow up and have that next chapter into your life and become that young, beautiful woman that you are. Seeing my mom at a young age have her quinceañera, like that big celebration, I just kind of wanted that for myself too. I feel like my mom was more the person that encouraged me to have my quinceañera. I am really, really close with my mom. During the planning of my quinceañera, me and my mom did a lot of errands, getting the things for the decorations, getting all the things set for the goodie table. My dad has always been the one to be working in the family. Although we do our, we really are close as a family, he's always the one that's out working. But I wish we kind of had that bonding time a little bit more for me and my brothers. I do know that my dad does work a lot and is always maintaining our family, but when we do have time to bond, it's just amazing and I'm grateful for those memories that I have with my dad. I have two brothers, one's 12, the other one's 8. We are really close, although we do get into our arguments here and there, but I kind of like the little arguments. They bring us closer in a way. So the theme of my quinceañera was an elegant type charo theme. It was something that meant a lot to me and I grew up looking at. My mom always showed me pictures like, look me, I want you to have something like this. And I kind of always liked that theme and I always looked at ideas of how to have my quinceañera like that theme. And it was just something I thought I connected with really well. My culture does mean a lot to me. I am very proud to be a Latina and it is something I carry with me forever. I am very passionate about dance. I am in a traditional dance group. My love for that dance group is amazing. Like, it's just huge. I love that dance group with all my heart. It describes and explains who I am as a person. I just love expressing myself through dance. When I dance and perform, it's just me being free, and I love that feeling. My family and I went to Morales Me to look for my quinceanera dress. I already had it in my wet dress. It was this blue ruffle gown, and I was like, okay, well, this one's it. I tried it on and I was like, all right, then this one's, this one's my quinceanera dress. And then I saw the red one come by and I was like, wait, no, that one's my quinceanera dress. And I, as soon as I tried it on, I just knew immediately that dress was for me. The things on the dress that I really loved a lot were like the jewels that were beaded on the corset, the ruffles, how big it was. It, I was in love with it. That dress really was my dream country of quinceanera dress. When I first put my dress on, I was emotional because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't, like I couldn't believe it. I was just, I couldn't picture myself in that moment, but it was a great feeling. I'm kind of grateful I had my damas there with me, getting ready, making sure everything was good, making my dress fluffy, fixing my hair overall. For my makeup, I chose like a brown smoky eye look with a uh, gold glitter to match the beading on my dress and then to finish it off I had felt like I had to like I just had to the red lipstick when my parents first walked in, they couldn't believe, like, they seen their baby girl grow up already and they were just in tears, like, they were emotional. My court in total with myself was four of us, so it was three girls, one chambelan. I had a really tough time looking for a chambelan since I am 5'7", I'm pretty tall for a girl. 
and yeah, looking for a guy who was taller than me was really, really challenging for me. <laughs> I'm really grateful that my grandma came through and introduced me to him. My main chamelan, because without him, I don't know what I would have done. I look at my phone and it's the hottest day of the year. I was freaking out because I was worrying about my makeup, like sweating off. I was worried about just being a hot mess that day overall. <laughs> I was also worried about my guests not being like comfortable or them being too hot. I was already stressed out even before the things had happened. <laughs> I always dreamt about having my quince outdoors and I'm kind of glad I found that venue to match my quinceanera. When I first walked into my venue and saw the decorations, I was excited. I was seeing my dream come true right in front of my eyes. For the venue, I did want that spot of red to be all over the venue as well for like the napkins to the flowers, just everything in general, a touch of red to match my quinceanera dress. It was amazing to see what my party planner as well as my mom put together for me. I was in awe. It felt like a true traditional quince. The celebration was beautiful. I loved everything about it. It was really that part of me becoming into a woman. La mamá quiere decirle algo a su hija. ¿Está bien? So after the ceremony, I felt kind of hot already. So now that I had to go run around and take pictures of all the guests that were there. And after that, I was a hot mess because the dress is so big. So it was just making me even more hot. A lot of family did come over from far, from close, from everywhere. I'm kind of glad that they all did come to celebrate that big day for me. After taking pictures with my family, it was time for me to sit back and just relax on my main table. All of a sudden I look up and I see in the distance two horses and I was just absolutely shook. I remember asking like, hey, like what's happening? They're like, okay, just come with us, come with us. And they just took me over to the horses. I was so surprised to see that my mom and dad had brought me these horses to take pictures with. They really overall fit my theme and just was that cherry on top for me. When I saw the horse, I knew immediately I wanted to get on and just ride the horse and take pictures. At that moment, like all my guests saw me too, just on top of the horse, just riding around. Before my waltz, I was getting really nervous. I was kind of panicking that I was gonna forget a step or forget a turn. My choreographer is my maestra for my dance group. The practices for making quinceanera were really stressful because we were like, okay, we don't know what to do yet. And then we, we all of a sudden like, okay, we have it, we have it done. It was time for my waltz. I was really nervous before, but once I started dancing, the nerves just went away and it was just me being free on the dance floor. The waltz with me and my me was overall good. We had to make sure we get that, we got the lift right. It's a lift, like it's a shoulder lift. So he had to make sure he picked me up high enough for me to turn. If not, he would step on my dress. Everything went smoothly and it couldn't have gone any better.
it was time for my father-daughter dance. As we were dancing, I was feeling really emotional. I could tell like in his eyes he was too. He was trying to hold back his tears. I know that because of his work and him always working, he's always gone a lot. So at that moment when we were dancing, I felt like we were just connected and I was glad to have that bonding with him. And at that time, we just felt really close. So after my father daughter dance, I had to run back and then change into my surprise dance dress, which was my traditional Jalisco dress. Damas went up to dance and it was just the best time to see them like their faces light up and smile it was just really colorful it tied in together with the Mexican tradition and the culture overall was just amazing the dances were great after my surprise dances with my dama I had a surprise dance with my main it was a chihuahua dance from the Salo Chihuahua and it went great, it was amazing, the turns were amazing, the lifts were great, I'm glad that he pulled through and did it. So after all of my surprise dances, it was finally time to sit down, stress free, the hard part's over, and now it's just time for you to enjoy the party, and I did. Everyone came to the dance floor, and the banda was playing on the floor, everybody was having a great time. It was cool to have live music out in the party because it was just, it was great. It was just, it brought that feeling together. I am really appreciative of my parents giving me the party of my dreams and I'm glad they pulled through with everything that they gave me. I definitely had my dream quinceanera. Thank you so much for watching my episode. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below what was your favorite part of my quince. If you want your quince featured on quince stories, please email quince at awesomenesstv.com. Bye!